Sir Handel was a very small engine. He was so small that his wide ass couldn't fit on the on the tracks. One day he puffed into the sheds at Croven's Gate and all the engines started teasing him about his wheels. Look at his steamroller wheels. Shut up, said Sir Handel. You know my wheels are good. Oh, shut up, Pete. Oh, shut up, Sir Handel. My funnel's better than your wheels. Ha ha, you got that again. Ah, oh, come on. You know my wheels are good. I can go faster than any of you. You, my friend, are just the engine to tackle George. Who the fuck is George? That steamroller over there, said Scarloey. Ha, huh. that old thing, the steamroller was being super shit to the engines. Like, constantly singing about how railways were no Railways are no good, turn them into roads. Pull them up, turn them into roads. Railways are no good, turn them into roads. Pull them up, turn them into roads. Ha, yeah, right. George will soon get a run for his money. I'll show him. I'll show that bastard. And Sir Handel puffed off to get his next train. George was waiting at a level crossing when Sir Handel came by. Huh, you're Sir Handel, I suppose. And you, I suppose, are George. I've heard of you. Yep, you're the bastard who keeps thinking roads are better. And I heard of you. You swank around with your big ass pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Adios, motherfucker. And he puffed off importantly. George was fuming. He just, he, he wanted to beat Sir Handel's ass, but he knew he couldn't because he had no appendages. <laughs> Later that day, Sir Handel came by with a goods train that was heading right. That was heading down the same, heading next to the road that George was on. George was ahead swerving. Huh. Drunk ass motherfucker, said Sir Handel. <laughs> I'll make way for imitation steamrollers, said George in a loud voice. Fuck off, said Sir Handel. No, you sh you go shit yourself, said George. Ugh. You little fucker. Come here and let me beat your ass. No, I'm a pull ahead. You can't beat my ass that way. You're much slower than I am. Ugh. Oh, ow. Oh, screamed the trucks as George rammed into him. Ah, said Sir Handel, that was your fault. No, it wasn't, it was yours, said George as he was drunk. The men were arguing constantly when suddenly, hello, 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 said a policeman ominously. And what's going on here? Leave me alone, officer, said George. I'm legally drunk. They cleared up the mess and built a fence next to the railway lines to separate the roads from the rails, which is extreme prejudice, I might add. And George just chased after Bertie all day. Sir Handel thought that he had sent George away by, by having the fence built. As Sir Handel pulled into the station, he kept boasting about like how he had sent George away. Oh dear, said Scarloey. We have we shouldn't have done that. Rusty said. Oh, sod off, Sir Handel. Then some children came along, which was trespassing. Oh, look at this, said a little boy. That's Sir Handel. He wanted to beat a steamroller and almost did. But he but the steamroller nearly beat him. And he also got hit in the ass. Ho 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 ho!